Hello and welcome. My name is ZW and this is my little slice of the internet I like to call Dub's Beauty Diary. Today I've got a um, tag video. It's called the Beauty Spending Tag and I thought this was quite appropriate since I'm going into a very low buy. Um, I will post the um, video where I talked about my low buy in the description. Um, but this um, this beauty spending tag was created by Hannah's Room, who I just started subscribing to. Um, I've only watched her tag video, but, uh, sorry, I've got hair everywhere. But um, so far, I, I like her vibe, so I'm gonna, um, I subscribed and I'm gonna keep on watching some more videos. But I saw Lisa Lobotomy do this tag, so that is who I got this from. Um, there is seven questions and I'm going to answer each question about my beauty spending habits. Um, okay, so let's get into this. Question one, when do you buy something new? Now, I'm going to answer all of these questions bef um, with um, answers that were true before I started my very low buy. So I hope that makes sense to you. But when do you buy something new? Um, my answer for this is whenever I feel like it. If I have money, if something's on sale, if I see something pretty, um, if I'm at the store, <laughs> like I will literally, I don't need a reason to spend money. I will, I will find something to buy. Um, number two, how much of your spending is influenced? So um, Hannah described this as um, something like, so say your favorite YouTuber um, has this palette and you, since they have it, you need it. Um, but she also described like how if you're looking for reviews to see if you might want to buy it, that's, um, that's something different. So um, I don't, not, nothing is influenced. None of my spending habits are influenced, but I do like... Okay, so that girl Shay, she does a lot of ColourPop um, eye swatches. So if I'm interested in any palette, I'll be like, okay, does she have eye swatches? Then I go and I see if it, um, if the if the video or the color story is something that I'm really into or just a little bit into, and that's how I decide if I want to buy ColourPop palettes, for example. Um, so yeah, nothing is influenced. I do, um, pretty extensive research. Uh, number three, what is the item you would buy again without hesitation? And honestly, I don't think I have anything. I don't have like a favorite product or anything. And since I'm thinking about this so long, I don't think I have an answer. I love a lot of things, um, but I can always find something else, dupe it, or, you know, like, so I'm, I'm just going to say nothing. There is not an item that I would buy again um, without hesitation. Yeah, no. Number four, do you splurge during a sale? So like um, 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta, um, Sephora VIB, or like Black Friday. Um, do I splurge during a sale? 100%. I love buying everything that's on sale. I If it's not on sale, I don't want to buy it. But if even if it's not something I was interested in, if it's on sale, I want it. How? Yeah, you can understand why I'm going on a very low buy. Um, let's see. Number five, how much of your collection do you use and how many items have you not touched since your purchase since you purchased? So I just did a quick like little thing through my um, eyeshadow palettes and I use about or I've used I've used about 20%. So <laughs> that's so sad. So how much do I use on a regular basis? Probably like 3%. Yeah, and there is so many. There's probably there's probably 250 eyeshadow palettes that I've never touched. 250. 
Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Now here we go. Number six, does your spending embarrass or stress you out? Embarrassing? Yeah, 250 palettes that I've never touched. That's hella embarrassing. Like, why am I like this? Does it stress me out? Um, kind of. Like, that's why I'm going on a very low buy because I don't, I, I need to be able to save money. I can't just, oh, I've got an extra $32 this month. Oh, I better find something to buy that's $32. Like, what? No, I need to reel it in and I need to be better. I just need to be better. So the last question, number seven, have you made any changes in your spending habits and why? So, okay, before this very low buy started like a couple of days ago, I have tried to previously like, oh, I'm not going to buy any makeup in November. Well, that doesn't work. Like I'll, I'll go to Walmart and I'll see like, oh, I need a black eyeliner. So I buy one and then I'm like, well, shit, I've already broke my no buy. So I might as well just go wild. And then I end up spending $300 That's a Sephora. Like it's slippery slope for me. It is, it really is. I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. So I either need to not spend any money at all or spend every cent that I have. Um, yeah, so have I made changes in my spending habits? 100%, I am trying to anyway. It's going to be a rocky road. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be emotional, stressful, the FOMO is going to be there, but I need, something's got to give, right? I need to get this in check. Plus I need to use what I have. Like it's all so beautiful. Why not just use it, right? Um, anyway, that is my beauty spending tag. Um, let me know what, if you have a beauty spending problem or, um, like what would your answers to these questions be? I will leave them in the description box so that you can put them in the comments or make your own video. Um, don't forget to tag Hannah's room so that she can um, see that you've joined in on this tag. Um, yeah, just let's get this one out there. I really like it and it. I just wish I would have seen this before I posted my no buy low buy or whatever video because they so coincide it's it's ridiculous it's crazy that must be the universe telling me that I really need to do this and not just talk about it but actually do it so far it is let me just yeah it's the second today that I'm filming this and I've not bought anything yet so day two yay <laughs> Um, anyway, I think that's going to be everything for this video, uh, short and sweet. I'll have every, everyone linked that I mentioned in the description box. Um, again, please check out Hannah's, Hannah's room. And if you haven't checked out Lisa Lobotomy, um, I highly recommend it. She is awesome. She's cool. She has beautiful looks. She's on a no buy this year. So she's doing a lot of older, um, palettes. She does theme weeks which is like, um, like one week was collab week. And this uh, most recent week I just watched was, um, her, uh, ColourPop, um, it was ColourPop palettes that she forgot about, or she didn't really like at first, but, but she wants to see if she likes them now or whatever. Um, she's have, she's had Nabla week. She loves Nabla. Um, yeah, check her out. Um, and yeah, obviously I love that girl Shay, so I'll leave her in the description box below too. Um, other than that, um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.